So let's talk about how how did it make you feel when uh when Drake you know did the Instagram video? I mean, it was big because it was a sign of success within what we consider to be this hip hop stuff. I mean, but the reality is Drake never hopped on the record. He never hopped on the record. He did a verse, and uh, to my knowledge, and never hopped on it. I appreciate the shout out, but. If you're not really gonna go full fledged and co-sign to somebody, don't do it. And I'm not being disrespectful to Drake. I love their movement and all, but at the end of the day, a lot of these guys pillage our community, period, point blank. They see what's cool and they don't really wanna help these brothers get to the next level. You know, I take that back slightly because on the day of his album, release for Nothing Was the Same, on Hot 97, which is arguably the biggest radio station in hip hop, on Angie Martinez's show, which is arguably the biggest. Uh, radio. I mean, Angie Martinez uh, radio show, which is arguably the biggest radio show in hip hop. Um, he shouted them out, saying that that's what inspires him. So shout out to him, but I just feel like he could have did more. But you know, who am I to say that? That's my opinion. The man did what he felt he needed to do. The record did a lot for me. It, it changed my life, really. You know, what I'm saying it allowed me to have some. Uh, it was a win when her say stuff like. I know a couple niggas down the ride for a homicide, you know, damn, man. Like, it's reality, though, because everybody knows a couple people that were killed for him in the black community, and it's, like, sad. When I produce the music, and you know, they let, they let some of these raps on it, man, and I really listen to that shit, man. It's cold, but it really ain't talking about shit, man. It's talking about killing other black people, man. I'm going to put it like this. You know, the only way I feel like a young urban black youth is going to really make it in America is if you're doing something with entertainment. You could be a technological person working on some entertainment stuff. Like, I mean, you're going to have your tools and fuels, but ain't it's no black person that had hit a billion dollars not doing entertainment unless it was some surrounding entertainment. You name me one billionaire black scientist right now. I'll give you two, three thousand dollars right now. Right now, you might have a conference of black lawyers. There might be two thousand people there. But them two thousand people don't live in a black community. They send their kids to schools that aren't black. They may con contribute some money, but it's not really putting. They're not creating no law guild for the black kids to learn law or nothing. Is we got out, we got money, and two thousand people ain't even one percent of black people. So it's nothing that. A gang, a, a large amount of black youth could get into. You know, I mean. I mean you were, like I said, you were like, you were influencer in music. And it's like, what are you guys doing to give back? I mean, we music. Got Chance, we got Chance. You know, Chance, he, 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 he tries to do his movement. I don't know how you feel about him. Yeah, Chance, Chance but Chance connected. Chance was on every stoplight, a stop corner in the city of Chicago, and it wasn't because of hip hop, it was because his father. Relationships, I've never seen. A hip hop artist on the, on every corner of every bus terminal in the city of Chicago, billboards, all of that. It purely was relationships. Even Kanye, big rappers, they probably don't even know the number to call to get to J C. Do or Dwa, whatever the French name is, to get the street furniture. You don't even know the number to call. What you gonna call the city of Chicago? Yeah, I'm a rapper. Yeah, I want niggas to know about my project, man. We got a hundred thousand. They gonna. Cut your phone. They're going to hang up on you. We're influential but towards you. kids. Ain't nothing going to change. And we tried. I could I could go up right now and say, stop the violence. Stop the killing. Man, they're going to kill a nigga right down the street. Now, I'm going to beg to differ. I'm going to be the voice of reason. If Chief Keith stopped rapping gangster, he broke. If her start rapping the way he rapping, he's not going to make any money. So think about this. At the end of the day, you would really be disenfranchising more black people by telling him not to do it because he's not going to make no money. That's the dilemma, man. What do you think was your defining moment in your career? Like, everyone has a moment where they're like, hey, like, I'm in the right place. I'm doing the right thing for myself. Oh, it had to, well, yeah, that Drake thing. Because the Drake thing, I mean, it was just like, man, dude was the biggest guy. And he acknowledged what we did musically, you know, so it was good. And Nicki Minaj was good, too. I live my success out through my artists. I don't want to be number one. Being number one, got an X on your back, man. I don't want no X on my back. I just want to be a nice number two, live comfortably, and be able to make an impact on who I can and prepare for the upcoming battle. I haven't even had a defining moment in hip-hop because I don't think it's a defining moment in hip-hop to have. 
And my defining moment is going to be when I create something that is going to benefit society outside of hip hop, outside of the arts. What's the word? 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 I'm stepping now. What's the word? 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 Hey, what's your time? See, I don't practice, but still my pimping. On point like cactus, take it.